In the meantime, police are now investigating after a four-year-old said he was molested in a bathroom at Our Lady of Lords Church in downtown Spokane. A 65-year-old suspect is now facing first-degree child molestation charges. Kremtus Kyle Simchuk just received a statement from the Diocese of Spokane. He's also looking through court documents. The Catholic Diocese of Spokane says the suspect arrested has no affiliation with the church. They say they're praying for this boy and his family. The 65-year-old was arrested within hours. Court documents show a four-year-old boy was attending vacation Bible school at Our Lady of Lords Church on the morning of June 30th. His mom took him to a bathroom in the basement of the church and waited outside. 15 minutes after leaving the restroom, the boy told his mom something happened. He said a man touched him inappropriately. Police were called to the church and immediately started looking at their security cameras. Court docs show they saw a man in his 60s walk down the stairs to the bathroom just after 7 a.m. He stayed there for nearly two hours until the boy went to use the bathroom. That man is then seen leaving right after the boy and his mom, according to court docs. Police identified the suspect as 65-year-old Lenny Luck. Officers say he matched the person seen on video and the description provided by the child. Officers found him within hours near the Ridpath Apartments and arrested him. Luck is a five-time felon and was previously convicted of first-degree statutory rape and indecent liberties. Luck did not know the boy or his family. For this type of crime, police say suspects are not typically strangers. We checked with the department, and out of the 850 child molestation cases reported between 2017 and this year, 25, or 3 percent, of suspects were considered strangers. In a statement to Krem 2, the Catholic Diocese of Spokane said it is, quote, deeply saddened by the evil act that has occurred on the grounds of our cathedral. The offender has no affiliation with our church and has caused great harm to our community. We're grateful that the cathedral staff and law enforcement move swiftly in reporting, identifying, and ultimately arresting the offender within hours. The cathedral continues to partner with law enforcement to monitor individuals on our grounds who do not intend to worship in an effort to keep our cathedral open and hospitable to God's people in downtown Spokane. Please join us in praying for all individuals and family members involved. Luck has pleaded not guilty to first-degree child molestation. His trial is expected to begin this September. If convicted, he could spend the rest of his life in prison. Reporting in downtown Spokane, Kyle Simchuk, Krem2 News.